What's going on guys? Storm1092 here bringing you another video for your entertainment purposes. Now this one's pretty much out there saying I got my PS4 back. I ended up buying another one. I bought, I didn't buy a pro. I didn't buy anything other than the basic slim model. Um, it was on sale at Target for 250 bucks plus Target had another, I forgot what percentage off in their cartwheel app. Um, and the total came to around like 210, which I don't think is a bad price at all for a PlayStation. Um, I have a hot, I, I have like a really hard, um, I have a hard time like buying electronics at full price because they're very, very overpriced. Last time I did that, my TV the week after dropped down like 200 bucks. I was like, oh great, I could have waited a week and oh, I would have had $200 in my pocket. I just it always happens to me every time I buy something it always goes down in price like a week or two after always That's my luck right now But anyways, this video is pretty much uh, About why I didn't buy the PlayStation 4 Pro uh, I do have a 4k HDR TV. All right, I do But here's the thing They don't make a, a, An affordable I mean they do make one but they don't make an affordable 4K capture device. I think Elgato is making one or just came out with one, but last time I checked, they were like four or $500. I'm not dropping that kind of money yet. I, it, my TV was the first step to get into the 4K world. My computer is not 4K ready yet. I can't, I don't have a 4K computer monitor, so there's no point in me upgrading to 4K and bringing you guys 4K resolution sub 4k in the ps4 pro fake 4k i guess you could say um well then why don't you use it for the extra graphics power and all that stuff and the extra fps uh that's because it's a freaking console i don't care about graphics fps is one thing but another thing is it's like i don't care how the as long as the game plays all right it's fine and now, see, I got the bundle with the Star Wars Battlefront 2 because that's the only one they had. It was either get one with a game or without a game. I got Star Wars Battlefront 2. I understand that is kind of a big no-no in today's world. And if anybody cares, I don't, I don't really care that you care that I got it because the story is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Anyways, that game is very, very good graphically beautiful it really is like it's probably the best looking game on the playstation in my opinion i have not played gran turismo and i know them are also very very high in graphics qualities every so often you get an fps fps drop but not noticeable enough to where it warrants the extra hundred dollars for the pro um and anytime if i was like say have the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro hooked up to my um, capture device, it would just downscale it into 1080p anyway. So why spend the extra money to just have a little bit F better FPS and blah, 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 blah. You guys ain't going to care. I'm not, I don't care. It is what it is. Like everybody says, oh, it's, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Yeah, but you're not streaming or anything at 4K because you're not spending $500 on a capture device, a no name capture device at that. Like I said, I think the only one that has it is Elgato, and I think it's one that goes into your computer. Um, but that's pretty much like the main reason why I didn't buy a Pro. I mean, I could have, I could have probably swung it financially, but I would rather spend that money on other things. I have a trip coming up, so got to balance that kind of stuff. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are below on like the PlayStation 4 Pro. Did I really go wrong? And I mean, I've seen comparison videos side to side and most people can't tell the difference between like the 4K one and the regular one. And they had them on both like e equal screens, everything, equal settings, and most people couldn't tell the difference. I mean, do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Did I make a mistake? Let me know in the comments.